In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use one of these as a dash cam in your car. And it's super easy to set up as well. First, we need to set up looping to enable continuous video recording. Okay, so we've turned our GoPro on. What we're now going to do is from the main screen, we're going to click on the mode selector button to here uh, down the bottom of the screen. Now it's got a whole different uh, range of options, most of them presets that come with your GoPro. What we're going to do for looping is we're going to slide on down to the very bottom here. And if you look carefully at the bottom, you can see how it's got the plus symbol there. So we're going to press on that. That's going to bring us into this new screen here, which is the mode screen. And it gives you a few different options. Uh, but the one that we're interested in is just halfway, what's slow-mo? One we're interested in is halfway down where it says looping. And this is the option that we're going to be using today. So we press on this screen here to scoot back. If you check now under the, the mode uh, option, you'll see how it does say looping. And the next thing we want to change or check on is the resolution and the frames per second. So for that one, we're going to press this button here. That's going to bring up this screen here. It gives you the normal options that you have uh, for the resolution and the frame rate that you normally use on a GoPro. As we're using it as a dash cam, we don't need to film in 4K. So 1080p with 50 frames per second is suitable in this case. So we're pretty happy with that. So we're just gonna click on that one there. Now, if you wish to change other settings in the screen, uh, go right ahead. And if you're happy, and I am, just gonna click on the tick under the choose settings. Uh, option here at the top now it's going to bring into this screen here where you get to name the preset now there's a few different options already set in to the gopro but we're going to scoot right to the bottom and the very last one says looping and that's the one that we're going to choose today so we're going to click on looping and because we're happy with that name of that preset we're going to press the tick button and you can see here at the bottom of the screen right now it's all set We've installed the looping mode on the GoPro, and now we want to change the time interval for looping. So we're gonna click on our looping option here at the bottom. Press on the pencil. Now, over here on the right-hand side, it says interval. So we're gonna, it's currently set to five minutes. So we can click on that. And under the uh, looping interval, we now have options where we can have uh, recording loops on the GoPro from five minutes all the way up to a uh, maximum. And maximum means its looping interval will basically be the uh, entire SD card. So it will just keep recording and recording over the full length of the card. Most times you're using a dash cam, 20 minutes is actually pretty good. So we're gonna use the slider and that's 60 minutes. And we're gonna slide it down to around about there. So we can see now the looping interval is set at 20 minutes. So when we're happy with that, we're just gonna Press back uh, to the menu screen. Now, another thing that we want to um, adjust or we can adjust is the lens. And this being a GoPro, it gives you a few different options. So currently the lens is set to wide. Yeah, you can see there. If I press on that button there, it opens the screen, which gives you options where you can have your GoPro ranging from uh, this top shot option here, which is super view, which is about 170 uh, degrees of vision. And if you want to, you can adjust it all the way down to something as low as uh, linear and horizon leveling. So your shot will be a lot tighter. But because we're going to be using it as a dash cam in this case, we're gonna try it on the very top option, which is super view. To get it all fired up and to get it recording, all you need to do is press the record button here on the top of the GoPro. And you can see right now, the red light is flashing. Um, we have the time listed in the, uh, the red icon at the top of the screen. And this will just record right now for 20 minutes. Of course, if you want to stop it beforehand, there's no dramas with that. All you need to do is press the stop button up here and the recording has completed. All right, so now we've got the looping settings all um, hooked up. On the GoPro, now we just need one of these normal GoPro mounts here. 
And this on the right hand side is the GoPro suction cup mount, which is what I'll use to attach the GoPro um, to the windshield. I've attached the uh, GoPro using the little uh, fingers in the bottom to the attachment. And you can see I've actually got the attachment facing uh, away towards the back of the GoPro. That's gonna make much more sense when we slip it into the mount in just a second. All right, so I did forget to mention that I'm using the GoPro today in the GoPro Hero Media Mod. And uh, you can also do this without the Media Mod, of course, but uh, that's what the weird looking contraption wrapped around the GoPro Hero 9 is today. Okay, great. So now we're out in the car and we have our GoPro and we have it attached to our suction cup mount. Now, when we're gonna have it set up in the car, the GoPro is actually gonna be upside down, okay? But that doesn't matter because when it comes to playing it back, it's easy enough to switch it around on the computer. Put it on like that. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna press here on this button, that's key. And then we're gonna get this little lever here and we're gonna flick it on. And now that is affixed really, really tightly and that's not gonna move at all from your windshield. When it comes time to release it, all you need to do is pull down the latch and then just gradually peel off the cup from the windshield. Here on the side of the GoPro, now we're gonna turn it on. Wait a second for the GoPro to come on. We hear that familiar noise. And now the record button is gonna be just underneath the GoPro. We press that and it started the recording on the loop that we've specified, which in our case is 20 minutes. Okay, let's go for a drive. To ensure you don't miss anything, grab a USB-A to USB-C cable and a USB car cigarette lighter adapter and plug it into the cigarette lighter in your car. Now we're going to take this end here to that part there of the media mod. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you got some value out of it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button too. That would be really choice. If you're into GoPros and you want to learn more tips and tricks, make sure you click on the video just over here. I've got heaps of other great content on this channel too, involving GoPros and the wonderful things that these little contraptions can do. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.